Hi, good morning and welcome to meditation. Today is the 25th of um, April. We are back from our walk in, in San Genesis Way in Spain, actually in the southern ba uh, Basque country, because we live here in the northern Basque country. That's the way to say things around here. So this region of uh, France and Spain, that actually uh, the Basque region of Europe, so we walked for a week as uh, uh, singing, meditating and praying together. Some brothers and sisters from our church here in France, in the Basque country. So it was an, an amazing time that we had walking from the border to Bilbao, which is the biggest city in the Basque country. It was a time to go up and down, to climb every mountain in, the, in Spain and pray and worship God. So today we are back in our meditation revelation. After meditating on Revelation chapter 7 verse 10, where we meditate on salvation from today, we are going to, to meditate on adoration in the book of Revelation. The first text is Revelation chapter 7 verse 11. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. What an amazing text. This text is like, it's, it's like a repetition of uh, Revelation chapter 5, verse, chapter 5, verse 11. The same verse, 7, 11, 5, 11. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels numbering thousands, thousands upon thousands and 10,000 times 10,000. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And in a loud voice, verse 12 says, they were saying, worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and the strength and honor and glory and praise, saying Hendo in his Messiah as well. An amazing text. The Lamb is worthy to receive. We are going to see this kind of text in the whole book of Revelation. Dividing the different parts of the book. Worship. What are you doing with your lips? Are you worshipping the one who is who was and is to come? Or are you just using it to, to curse yourself? When people curse others, they are cursing themselves. When they worship God, they are blessing themselves and they are blessing the others as well. Bring blessings to your life by worshipping the one who was, who is and is to come. And the chapter 5, verse 13 and 14 says, Then I heard, you're going to see that eternity is going to join creation here to worship the one who is sitting on the throne. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in, in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worship. Are you worshiping the Lord? Are you saying Amen to the one who is, who was, and is to come? Bring blessings to your life by worshiping God. God bless you.